Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's get started. For this project, all dimensions will be in millimeters. Let's create a new component. Select the front view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's create the guides for this project. We're going to select the line command. And we're going to select construction for the beginning of this project. We're going to create a series of lines and add dimensions. Let's switch over from construction to regular. And move these dimensions down a bit. And let's start creating a profile. Select a coincident constraint. Let's select this one point and this point, merge them together. Let's begin to add some dimensions. make it visible to see. Next, we're going to go ahead and select the offset command. Select the profile we just created. Let's set it to 4.5 millimeters offset. And let's close off the sketch by selecting the line tool and connecting all ends. Sketch is complete. Finish the sketch. Select the revolve command. Profile is already selected. Select this line here. We have a complete revolve. And we're going to proceed to the next step. Select the top view. Let's create a sketch on this face here. Let's create a construction line. Make it about 40.75 millimeters in length. Turn off construction. Select the center diameter circle. At the very end of this line point, let's create a circle, six millimeters in diameter. Create another circle in the center again of that same circle and make it 16 millimeters in diameter. We're going to extrude that profile we just created. Select the entire profile, even the edge. We're going to make it 10 millimeters in height. Our pressure is going to be set to join. Next, let's create a sketch and put it on this face here. Select the project command. Select this outer edge. Next, let's grab the center diameter circle. Start in the center, drag it out. Let's select the coincident constraint. Select the circle and this point here to lock it in place. Next, we're going to extrude this portion here to create a slot or a groove inside of this cylinder. Select extrude command. Select profile we just created. Select this top face here. Operation is going to be set to cut and it's complete. Let's 
select the fillet command and select the edges as follows. I'm going to make it 1.25 millimeters. We want to get rid of this edge here. You want to slice it and make it flat. To do that, select extrude command. Let's select a previous sketch. Sketch number two. Zoom in, select this face here. Let's make it 10 millimeters. I want to give it a taper angle of three. And let's turn off sketch two. After doing that, let's go ahead and use the circular pattern command. Object type is going to be set to features. And let's select the corresponding features here. Axis, select this top edge here. Quantity is going to be six. The compute type can be set to adjust. I'm going to back up a second and go to that previous extrude. I'm going to make this zero degrees. We don't necessarily need a taper there. Select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's create a construction line. Start in the center, drag up, make this 20 millimeters. Let's create a circle, turn off construction, start in the center, and we'll make this 13 millimeters. Let's create a second circle and make it 27 millimeters. Select the extrude command. Select the profile we just created. For the starting section, we're gonna go ahead and offset it about 28 millimeters. Extends type is gonna be to object. And on the inside, I'm gonna select the inside face. You're gonna get an error. However, under extend, we want it to be adjacent faces. Operation is going to be set to join. Once again, select the front view. Create a sketch on a visible plane. Create a construction line once again. Make it 20 millimeters. Turn off construction. Using the center point circle. Make this 13 millimeters once again. Let's draw two series of lines. Let's go ahead and turn off the body for a second. Let's just create a horizontal line. Let's make it 22 millimeters. Let's create a construction line. We're going to also make that 22 millimeters. Under constraints, select midpoint, select the construction line, select this top point here, select the non-construction line, and select the bottom point here. Let's go over here and create a center point arc. Starting the center point from this point to this point. And before we end it, let's go ahead and turn off construction. And then we can go ahead and end it. Select the line command and draw two lines to join these two areas here. And don't forget to turn back on the bodies. Rotate it to the right. Select extrude command once again. And this time the offset is going to be 45 millimeters. Extend type to object. Select the inside here. And once again, select adjacent faces. 
Make sure the operation is set to join. We can select sketch four or five, doesn't matter. Select extrude command, select this inside circle and just touch this face here in order to cut right through. Now we can turn off sketch five. Moving right along, we're gonna add some more fillets. Select the fillet command, turn off tangent chain and select the corresponding edges here. Select this face, this edge, and that edge. I'm gonna make it 1.25. Let's once again select the fillet command. Select this face, make it 1.25 millimeters. Let's use the mirror command. We can select it here or here. Let's select the corresponding features. The mirror plane is going to be this plane here. Compute type is going to be identical. Let's rotate the object to the bottom. Create a sketch on this bottom face. Let's draw a center diameter circle from the center out. Let's measure it to be 1.5 millimeters from this edge here. Finish the sketch. Select the extrude command. Let's extrude it inward, negative five millimeters. Next, let's add the final series of fillets. Select the fillet command. Select this edge and this top face here. Make it 1.5 millimeters. The next round of fillets. I'm gonna go ahead and select these series of edges. I'm going to set this to 0.3. The final set of fillets, I'm going to select these inside edges. And we'll set this to 1.5. Correction 1.25. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.